I'm Lauren Green on FoxNews.com. You know, 3D printing is the technology of the future, but it's being used today to give a helping hand to the disabled, literally. Jeremy Simon is a 3D printing enthusiast and a volunteer with Enable, a community working to 3D print mechanical hands at no cost for those in need. Jeremy joins me now from Chicago. Hey, Jeremy. Hi, Lauren. Thanks for having me. Um, it's great to have you on. You know, the concept of 3D printing is just so hard to wrap our brains around. Can you just explain how this works? Sure, it is a little bit uh, hard, but it's, it's basically the idea of building up uh, three-dimensional objects uh, by building them in very thin layers one at a time. It works a little bit like an inkjet printer, except instead of ink, we're using melted plastic. And it, it puts it down one layer at a time and, and builds whatever object you tell the printer to build. It is really amazing. Now, you made a prosthetic hand for a man named uh, Jose Delgado, and he was born without most of his left hand, and the 3D-printed hand cost about $50. Now, before, um, I want you to explain the, about this, but, but before we get that, I want to play a little video of him actually look, working with the, the prosthetic hand that you uh, printed on a 3D printer. Take a listen. Uh, my name is Jose Delgado, Jr., uh, 53 years old. I was born without a left hand, I'll show you. And I'm here at the Jeremy Simon's house, and he's making me a, uh, not a robotic, but a 3D hand. Okay, so here we go. This is the finished cyborg beast in black. So that's the fully mechanical design. So you've had a chance to use this a little bit now in your work, and uh, has it been has it been useful? Yeah, it's useful for carrying boxes, like the tension, because this one doesn't really grab. If I grab some of this, it'll just fall down. But these are more giving more grip, and won't let it go as much. Jeremy, that is actually amazing, and the the one of the amazing things about the three D printed hand is that it's fifty dollars, and the um, the myo electric hand the that he was talking about cost forty two thousand dollars how is this possible well you know certainly we're not making an apples to apples comparison here these are entirely different kinds of devices but the the comparison i was trying to draw with jose was strictly in terms of day-to-day -day functionality what what's more useful and in, in his case specifically it turned out that this one was uh, the reason primarily for the cost difference is this is a completely mechanical design so there are no electronics or sensors to pick up muscle signals it works through the motion of of the wrist and uh, i brought a sample that i can i can actually sh show of that uh, mm -hmm. but the the design was entirely created by this this volunteer community and shared freely and therefore that helps to keep costs down as well so the fifty dollar figure is strictly a cost of materials and the rest is simply some assembly and the printing time very interesting you see you have a version of it right now uh, with you can you sure. show us yeah this is an example of one that i printed and uh, this was actually one that i posted a video of you can see by moving the wrist it causes the fingers to, to flex in mm -hmm. because of these, these tension cords up here, which can be adjusted. So it's an entirely mechanical design that uh, would fit around somebody's arm and around the remaining part of the palm, and they would use the wrist to operate it. There are other designs for people that uh, might not have a wrist, that might need something that's elbow activated, for example. But uh, it is an entirely mechanical design, so that helps to keep the cost down and makes it easier to produce for people. But like all mechanical design somebody actually has to design it and therein lies part of the cost as well but then enable do they design these um, prosthetic limbs for the purpose of giving it to the needy that's right that's really the the wonderful thing about this this community enable is a global community of volunteers it's uh, over 700 people already around the world and it's growing very quickly and these people all give their time completely freely we're talking about 3D designers, uh, university professors, occupational therapists, and other medical professionals. All sorts of people are in this community, and they all give completely freely of their time and efforts. And the designs that they create are then shared completely freely with the world for anybody to download and print. You know, right now, it, so it, 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 it's somewhat of a new uh, product, just 3D printing. I mean, but, it, it, you know, it's starting. I mean, it's very expensive if you want to buy one right now. I mean, obviously, uh, the way technology goes, as time goes on, it gets less and less expensive. When big business gets into this, you know, uh, do you think it will be still available to the needy? Can you, can you still create these prosthetic limbs for people who need it at, at no cost? 
I, I think so, because as long as there's still people willing to do this kind of work, the technology is going to continue to get more accessible and more affordable. That's already starting to happen. You know, you can get a 3D printer in a kit form for as little as a couple hundred dollars already, and the fully assembled uh, ones are usually in the range of one to three thousand. So they're getting to the point where they are more affordable. They're starting to go into libraries and classrooms around the world. So people are going to have more and more access to this technology. There's no doubt big businesses will start to leverage it as well, and they'll help to push it forward. But there's always going to be room for individuals to use this. It's a very empowering technology, actually, for that reason. Absolutely, and you're doing this all over the world. Jeremy Simon, thank you so much for joining me on FoxNews.com. And if people want to know more about it or want to uh, donate to Enable, they can go to the website as well, right? Yes, thank you very much. Enablingthefuture.org. Please do check it out, and there's an opportunity to donate as well as join up. It's open to everybody, and it's a terrific thing to be a part of. It's really exciting. All right. Thank you so much for being on FoxNews.com. Thanks, Lauren.